President Obama making it a point to address race in America, most recently after the tragic shootings in South Carolina. The fact that uh, this took place uh, in a black church uh, obviously also raises questions about a dark part of our history. We know that hatred across races and faiths pose a particular threat to our democracy and our ideals. But a shocking new poll shows under his administration, race relations have actually gotten worse, with nearly 60% of Americans saying things are generally bad. So is the president's rhetoric to blame? Joining us now to debate it, Fair and Balanced Radio Talk Show host and Fox News contributor David Webb and Democratic strategist Brian Benjamin. Brian, I want to start with you first. Sure. President came to power with great hope that there would be a new day in racial uh, relations in America. What happened? Where did it go wrong? I don't think it went wrong. I think there is a better day in race relations. If you look at that South Carolina issue, the way those families responded to that young white man was incredible. 20 years ago, that never would have happened. I mean, you think about the Crown Heights riots and some of the issues we've had in this country, we've come a long way. The issue is this, the police and civilians. That is where a lot of the racial tension is. And now we have smartphones, we have cameras, we have all these different devices that people can see, wow, this is what's happening. We have white people protesting how some, some cops are treating African Americans. And so it's a new world, and that I think is what's driving those numbers. David, you buy it that things are better? Well, first of all, would you stop taking my initial start talking point? <laughs> <laughs> no, look, it, the, the Charleston, South Carolina reaction is actually I'm more reflective of the American response to an overt and demonstrable act of racism. We responded as a community. It wasn't a black or white issue. This New York Times CBS poll paints a black and white picture using 1,200 people, of which 300 are black, 700 white, and a, and a mixture of others. Mm. And it's not reflective of America. When you get outside of the wings of the country and the urban centers and you look at the nation as I do as I travel this country, you see a country that's united on issues of evolving as a nation of equality. We do have a problem, and the foundation of these problems is not always race. It's poverty, it's economic disparity, and that's not based on race, but it is but, used by the Obama progressives in the left to push an issue that race is an issue, and then you've got the race and poverty pimps like Ab Sharpton <laughs> and others. Well, take it we do. Let me let Brian uh, sure, real, no, real quick, but we do have a racism issue still, but it's more structural, I think, and even if you look at some of the racial dynamics between whites and blacks and some you know obviously you have the Hulk Hogan situations but that's always been here mm -hmm. what's made what's worse is that people are now seeing some of the things that they never saw before and saying oh because my god social media because, because, of, because of social of media cameras. absolutely because uh, if you look at the poll the New York Times CBS poll shows nearly 60 percent of Americans think race relations are generally bad 40 percent thinking they're getting worse 57 percent say bad 37 percent say good majorities of both black and white participants said race relations right now are poor you said or earlier, Brian, you know this hasn't gotten worse under uh, under President Obama. So why do people but look at the way? media? Look at what ha look at Sandra Bland in Texas. I mean, she's switching lanes. Next, you know, she's in she's in jail. Next, you know, she's dead. And people saying, how does that? Ha how do you get stopped for switching lanes, right? And so these these some of these issues are just becoming huge uh, national issues. We're all looking at it, and we're saying. Things can't be getting better because you look at race, you think about the cops, and you say, well, would they do this to a, a, white, a, a young white woman? And, and most of us would say no. Um, David, what see, about that, though? Are police officers in this country right now being vilified? Yes, they are. And, and you know, to Brian, to his example about Sandra Bland, you can guess and sit there and go, Dude, would he stop a white woman? Would he? That's not the issue. That, by the way, is not necessarily racism. The problem is these sound bites become racism first rather than the issue. Uh, Michael Brown, not racism, but then you had an entire crowd, and I was there in Ferguson, that came and pushed this in Sharpton of the National Action Network. You have uh, Eric Garner, which was an issue of a criminal Here issue, yep. but he happened to be black. If it happened to a white person, it wouldn't be a story. We've got to stop going to the easy racist narrative at all times, deal with things like we did in Charles. Charleston. To the point of how we get past this, we've got to fix the problems in the black community and in every poor community. Because if you get people out of poverty and they get a, they buy into the American life and their own future, they'll look at what's important. My life, my family, mm -hmm. and my economic right. environment. We're going to have to leave it right there. Oh, sure. but improving all lives sure. matters to all of us. All lives do matter. And I appreciate I'll say all that. of you, uh, both of you, weighing in uh, and adding your perspective this morning. Thank you. Thank you.